got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a beach if you find the sand. And right now, I feel like a hundred grand. You are listening to Inspired Insider with your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise. Dr. Jeremy Weiss here. We're live at the Prosper Show with Aton. He's one of the founding board members of the Prosper Show, runs a big e-commerce company as well. I want to get some of the behind the scenes of what it took to put this event on. Aton, talk about, first of all, your role and what it took to put this on. Sure. Well, thanks for having me. Thank you guys for everything that you're doing here. Um, so I'm one of the founding members of the show. So we kind of came up with the concept. James, Chad, and Joseph and I. And we had the first show last year, as you guys know. Um, this is much bigger, it's almost double in size. Um, so I'll go into the planning. So the idea was that, I don't know which one. The idea was, the idea was We're to make an a- actual conference. People are just gonna be walking okay. by. The idea was to make a really um, good show for seller education. There were like ones out there, but they were quite fragmented and not so thorough. And this is really all about education. It's not about pitching your company per se at the speech, it's just about giving people those gold nuggets to, to take home and, and take action. And as far as planning, you know, there's a lot of effort. This year we teamed up with ASD, which has been great, so we're able to use this great space. And a lot of marketing efforts online, uh, Jeremy helped with that a bit too. And uh, it's a lot of hard work that James did and we all did. But um, it takes a lot to make this happen. A this lot. fills a need in the space, you know, and you guys saw a gap. What was that gap and how does, what is this, how does this fill that? So, so the, good point. So the other shows, I mean, they, you have a channel advisor show. They have their own branded show, right? So they're always going to pitch their agenda. And there's some smaller Amazon seller shows. This is much more professional, let's say, higher level content. A lot of the sellers here are doing over a million in sales, if not much more. Some are doing 200 million. It, it depends. But the, the void or that niche here is... There's a private label track, there's an advanced track, so everyone come away with different take home points. We're not selling anything, we're just teaching. And everyone who comes can also see the different vendors out there and learn how to grow and how to make more money, which is the bottom line. That's why they're here. So you're talking at Prosper, so give us a glimpse into what you're talking about. So I spoke this morning a little, just it was a moderation moderator. I was a moderator on a panel with a lot of sellers, and that was pretty cool. Lots of questions. I'm speaking with Chad. What was a big takeaway on the the panel? Um, It was really about scaling your business, large Amazon seller scaling. Um, One of the biggest takeaways, I think, was a lot of this brand control and gating that's going on now with Amazon and how people handle that, whether it's your own brand or whether you're selling someone else's brand, it could really affect you. Um, that was the takeaway. And as for the next session at 4 o'clock with Chad, we're talking about golden nuggets, which is his term. So basically, those shiny things that you take away um, from a show. So you want to, we want to give you in one, in one session, which we will, things you could take away that you can go home and make money on and cover the ticket to this event and then some. Right. So we, we mix it's it up. It's worth the price of admission. The so price of admission. what should we say right now that will be worth the price of admission, whether it's something you know personally, something you heard, or something you're going to speak about? What would be worth the price of admission right now? An idea? Yeah. You want like something technical or just... It could be anything that you think someone could use it and it would yeah. be worth the price of admission for them. I mean, this is technical, but I just, I just. It could be technical. I just, I just bumped into someone who sells a lot of like, MFN based, you know, onesie twosie shipping type items, and FBA changed the fees. So Amazon changed the fees. If you would sell multiple items, it would be let's say two dollars an item, and then. When you talk fees, you're talking dirty to Amazon sellers. So keep going with that. Um, it would be like two dollars an item, and the same, and then a certain amount. Now they're charging the same amount per item. So people who sell a lot of items per order don't really know that they're losing a lot of money especially people who have very low margin are probably losing money. A lot of people pricing is very low because they think people will buy 100. According to that model and this pricing, you, you'll lose money. So that was something someone just told me that I was kind of astonished by. Just so came to repeat mind. that again, just so we get it right. If you sell multiple units, so let's say I sell 10 toothbrushes. It used to be I would pay a fee for the first toothbrush and a nominal fee for the additional. Now you pay the same fee for every single toothbrush. Yeah. So if you're working on low margins like toothbrushes, unless you're raising your prices, you're losing money on that. 
questionable why Amazon did it, but most people don't realize that that's the place. It's something I picked up from speaking to so someone. So what do you? What are people supposed to do? Like, do they bundle them and then they get? Yeah. If they bundle ten, then they only get one fee, or what should yeah, they so, do? So people, you can actually use that to bundle because you could use your data to see what to bundle based on sales history. But you have to adjust your fees accordingly based on that, and not just be selling things um, at really low prices to get quantity orders. So this is, that was pretty technical. I that's can give you something good, different. Though. That's good because people wouldn't know that, and then they don't even realize they're losing money, right? Out, the rule came out in like mid February, but it, no one really took it to heart until they kind of seeing these reports, which is a, a commonality. A lot of what we do here is trying to show people: Are you making money? Are you not? Look at your profit. A lot of these tools here will help. Uh, a lot of these tools here will help you see that. Without right. them, it's very hard to know. Yeah, very hard. So, any other? You said there may be a non-technical one. Is there any there any others you want to share? Um, gold nuggets that would be worth the whole price of admission? Yeah, sure. So, I guess this is an additional price of admission. But we had some workshops yesterday before the show, and one was about like Facebook and social media. A lot. What do you What do you guys do? And generating traffic not only to Amazon, let's say, from your social media, but maybe to your website or somewhere else where you can make more money and create some kind of viral following. And it was an amazing session by Brian by Bowman. Um, and um, we, you know, we're going to blog a little about it, but that whole concept of just not putting everything on Amazon, which is hard to do when it's so quickly growing, right. and to diversify and how to do it, I think that's a takeaway you could learn here yeah. uh, if you want. Anything else, Eitan, that people should know about Prosper Show over the next day or two, or they're thinking about coming in the future? Sure. Um, there's a lot of great sessions. We have a big keynote coming up with Rick Cesari. Um, it's going to be here next year, around the same week, same place. Yeah. Um, we're looking into some other shows, perhaps, or different ways of spinning off different types of shows, perhaps, for different types of sellers. Yeah. But um, yeah, we're just excited. We're thrilled with the turnout and really appreciate you guys coming. Yeah. So check out Prosper Show. Where should we point people to them online? Obviously, this is being generated live on the Facebook, uh, the Facebook feed. Um, where else? Prospershow.com. Okay. Prospershow.com. Eitan, awesome. Thank you. Thanks, guys. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walked through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a beach if you find the sand. And right now, I'm feeling like a hundred grand.